Yeah, I, I, I know. I know I said I fucking said I'm not going to make any more Batman Arkham videos. But here's the fucking thing. Batman Arkham games, all the Batman Arkham games, were very overhyped. And HMA did bring this to my mind uh, yesterday over on Twitter. And what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to go out here... I think Batman Arkham City was a masterpiece. I think it was amazing. I think it was like the perfect 10 out of 10 game. And it deserves the hype. And it deserves all the, uh, you know, uh, you know, ratings it deserves. But Arkham Asylum, Arkham Origins, and Arkham Knight did not. Arkham Origins, I liked it personally. But still, it was shit. The reason I liked it personally is because it felt like a Batman game. But was it shit? It was shit. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. The story was the only thing that was really rede like redeemable and salvageable from that game. That's it. This is the story. I mean, if you take the story and you throw it onto a comic and then you actually add good combat or flowing combat with good art style, uh, yeah, it could be a masterpiece. But the thing is, the fucking combat is choppy as shit. Uh, everything's just so weird and out of place. It doesn't feel like you're really there. And you're not being the Batman, which leads me to Batman Arkham Knight. What the fuck was up with that game? Who the fuck decided to say, hey, you know what? 10 out of 10 right there. 10 out of 10. Oh, man. 9 out of 10, actually. I mean, 9.5. We're cutting it deep. Might as well give him a 10. Like, who the fuck? What, what the fuck? That game was not a 10 out of 10. Oh, man. Overpriced DLC fucking turning into another Ubisoft and Activision. Fucking good job, Rock City. Selling out like that, by the way giving us really bad content until the very end, which you probably worked all six months on, to be honest. I don't think you fucking even thought about the season of Infinity or even made the season of Infinity when you fucking uh, released the season pass in the first DLC because everybody hated you when you, re when, you replay uh, when you let out that first story pack, the Nightwing story pack. Everybody hated you. Everybody thought you were fucking trash. Rocksteady. I mean, I gave it a, I gave it like a one. Slick Moth gave it a two. Like, it was so fucking bad. And still, people still say it's 10 out of 10. And that the, the Season of Infinity redeemed it. The Season of Infinity was not worth $40. If it was going to be worth $40, they would have added as much uh, extra side missions as there are in the main game. Which was like four, 14. There was like 14 main side missions in the main game. 14 missions in the Season of Infinity. I think that would have been worth $40 right there. But was it? No. It was absolute shit. It was terrible. It was fucking horrible. So, where am I getting at this? You know, uh, Arkham games were fucking overhyped. They were extremely overrated, overhyped. You know, they were just fucking... It was so shit. I, I just can't believe I'm saying that. The only game I, I enjoyed that was a 10 out of 10, perfect in every way imaginable, was Batman Arkham City. That made you feel like the definitive Batman. But at the same time... You weren't the definitive Batman. Because you weren't making any of these choices. They were written into the game. You know, these things where you could, you know, maybe save Joker or, or you know, let him live or let him die. That wasn't fucking given. And I think if Telltale would have done this game and they literally did the same exact ending, guess what would have happened? You would have been able to choose if Joker lives or dies. And then fucking Rock said he could have taken another, like, six years maybe... To make a game that fits with both players and actually has, you know, a good fucking story. And they could even say in the beginning of the game, like in Batman Arkham Knight, after Batman Arkham City, if you rather save or kill Joker, in Batman Arkham Knight, you could say, oh, who did you, what, what did you do? Did you save Joker or did you kill Joker? And then whatever you click on is that new story. Like, what... I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. Uh, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate off of this, and I don't really care anymore. Cause to be perfectly honest, I'm just fucking speaking my truth. Everybody who speaks their mind and truth and their and uh, actual true truth on the fucking internet is hated. Grade A under A, Keemstar, they're fucking hated uh, because they actually speak their minds and not brainwashed zombies who react to fucking bad movie Superman trailers and start crying to them. And then give copyright strikes to people who are just, you know, up and coming, which is hilarious. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, if you guys did agree with me with, you know, all of this, click that like button. Uh, we are almost at 7,500, which is insane. I'm really glad about that. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.